and slammed her door shut with all the strength she had in her before heading towards the kitchen. She washed her hands with soap and water before removing the mask on her face. She had just come back from the supermarket and wasn't so happy, and looked at her shopping bag and wept internally, as she couldn't believe her life now. A few months ago she had received a bonus from her job for her outstanding performance and had planned to move to a better neighborhood. Now she was jobless because of the COVID virus and was barely manging with what was left in her account, bringing out the items in her shopping bag, and calculated how long each food item would last her. She was in the process of creating a food timetable in order to ration her food when she heard someone knocking on her door, who is there? And said angrily, annoyed that someone had disturbed the creation of her food timetable and didn't hear any response to her question and decided to go back to what she was doing. She twirled her pen in her hands and was about to write something down when she heard a knock again. She angrily opened the door this time around without asking who it was. Anne was surprised to see a little girl standing beside a basket filled with food items. Are those mine? Yes, they are and did not wait to ask any more questions before she hugged the basket to herself. Were you trying to steal my food? The government dropped this for me and you are here to take it right? What a thief! And did not wait to hear the little girl's reply before she slammed the door on her face and walked back inside her house. And through the timetable she had been trying to draw up a way and decided to cook a lovely meal for herself that night. She ate like a queen and went to bed feeling very satisfied. The following week, and saw the little girl on her doorstep again standing beside a basket of food and fruits. Good morning, you again. And looked at the girl properly this time and discovered she didn't look homeless. The little girl tried to touch the basket and then became angry when she saw that happen. Don't you dare. Go back to your house and stop bothering me. And slammed the door again and left the little girl standing outside. I wonder if her parents know she likes stealing. The following week, and expected to see her basket of food items. The week however went by and she didn't see anything. She began to wonder if the little girl had stolen it as she hadn't seen her either. Another week went by and and was almost out of food, she still didn't have a job and was starting to get very worried. Anne was lost in her thought when she heard a knock on her door. She hurriedly went towards her door and opened it without confirming who it was. Good day, my name is Frank. I am Diana's father. I don't know who Diana is. Didn't she tell you her name? The little girl who brings you food items in a basket. We have been distributing foods to people who might have lost their source of income because of the virus and your name was in that list. My daughter Tiana wanted to help out and we allowed her drop your food basket since your house is close to ours. Realization begins to dawn on Anne and she remembers how poorly she had treated the little girl who had only been trying to help her. Where is she now? She has been in the hospital for a week now and is only just getting better. She wanted me to come and see you and give you your food basket. Frank said as he walked towards a car parked beside her house and returned with a very large basket filled with food items, and took the basket with shaky hands and felt like she didn't deserve it. I have to go back to the hospital, Diana would be glad you have that. Can I come with you? And asked as she dashed inside her house to drop the basket and get her nose mask. Sure. Frank said as he walked towards his car alongside Anne. When Anne got to the hospital she saw Diana hooked up to a lot of machines as she lay in her bed, and felt too ashamed of herself but couldn't turn back because Frank was already telling his daughter she had a visitor. Diana's face lit up when she saw Anne, she looked like a little angel and Anne apologized to her. She promised to visit Diana every day in the hospital and they became good friends, and also decided to help out in the hospital to assist the elderly since they needed more care during that period. She was soon given a position at the hospital that didn't require a medical degree because of her kindness. Thank you.